Good morning, everyone. This is HP NV X360 2 in 1 laptop, the model number 13 BF0 X model. It comes with Intel Core i5 12 gen processor, 8 gig RAM, one of the decent one. And I was trying to install Windows 10 in EVFI environment, okay? But you know, when you try to install Windows in UEFI, that you must need to leave the secure boot on. But this machine is completely different. When I leave the secure boot on, it doesn't find the internal SSD. I mean, when you try to set it up, it doesn't show. Once you switch off the secure boot and try with the UEFI Windows 10 thumb drive installer, then it takes the Windows. So let's show you how I did it. So first thing, you need to create one bootable Windows 10 UEFI thumb drive, which is installer, connect into the USB port, and also make sure you do have your external mouse, because while you get to the setup page, the trackpad doesn't work. So switch it off, switch it back on, and keep pressing F10 to get into BIOS screen. This is for HP, always F10 when for Dell F2. So it takes a couple of attempt. Don't be surprised if you don't see anything on the screen. Keep pressing F10. Here we go. So this is the BIOS page. For the first main one, you don't need to do anything. The secu security has to be same. And configuration also, you don't need to do anything. Just get into boot options and switch off the secure boot and save these changes by clicking enter or press the button and now we're going to keep pressing F9 that's how simple it is you know it's, it's a kind of single click to change the entire settings for UEFI boot so as you can see it showed up my USB stick which is in UEFI and once I get into this page the trackpad doesn't work no longer, so connect the external wired mouse and then you can hit enter. And from here, it would be fine. So it's going to load up the setup page. That might take a couple of minutes, which is absolutely fine. I don't think this is stuck or frozen. That is absolutely fine because it reads the entire system from the USB and this used to be from Amazon, one of the cheap one, and it's very slow. That's why it shows, uh, and it takes about two to three minutes. Now we are in the setup page. You can choose whatever you like to choose, the language, everything. And then now we'll be able to see the internal drive where to install the Windows. Accept the terms and condition. Go for custom, the bottom one. And now you can see the drive you see but when you left the secure boot on previously it didn't show up so you can't go farther that's the reason why you need to switch off your secure boot while you do in EVFI environment for this model especially so it's going to copy everything i'm going to fast forward this video to make it shorter and end of the day we'll see if this setup is successful or not by the way, forget to mention the TPM, you can leave it enable. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't interfere with this installation. So the TPM has to be enabled and secure boot has to be disabled when it's selected the boot type in UEFI. Remember, don't change into the legacy. It seems everything is done. It's finalizing the setup. It's going to ask for keyboard layout and everything. And also don't forget to connect into internet, not at the beginning, once the setup is finished. When you are into the main screen, then you can connect into internet and they could update the drivers, especially for the trackpad. So sometimes the trackpad needs the manual driver update, which you need to do it by visiting the HP driver uh, website from their official page and once you restart it would be absolutely fine okay so the GPU issue GPU driver 
audio trackpad everything would be up to date okay uh, when you update the windows and if it doesn't then you need to do it manually by visiting the official site so thanks for watching i hope i'll see in the next video bye for now